Go to the pen tool in the Affinity Designers tool panel and click on document. I'm going to make five or six, 10, 15, loads and loads of, well, maybe not that many, but certainly about 15 or 20. So you can see just a like design like that. Well, it's closed. It's a closed path. I've closed it just at that point. Well, what I can do now is I can go to the node tool. So with the node tool, there's the node tool. So it's no tool and I can manipulate these. So I can just drag that around. I can go on the path. I can click on the path. I can do it in multiple places. Say there, there, maybe there and so on. Now, unfortunately, there's no sort of add nodes feature. Now that would be brilliant. A really nice little tool in one of these options and just say, look, add 15 or 20 nodes in spaced obviously nicely along. Because I do love that. So you've got those and what you can do, you can manipulate them all just individually, so you can see you can change those. However, say you decide, when you select one, so you just go and select it, you can see what happens. These are white, they're all white. You can see they're not selected. That one's selected, so I can manipulate that one. But what I can do, along the control bar, the node, you've got this, you've got an option here for break curve. So I can break that curve, and as, as I do that, now it's separated. I can actually, while that one's selected over there, you can still see it's, it's not selected, but it's unselected, but it's still sort of in a half state of selected. What I can do, I can always drag it back. I can click on there and it will connect very nicely together. You, if you've got a path that's separate, not selected, etc., it looks like it does it, but it doesn't do it. It needs to have that point in that state. However, what you can also do is you can go over here to Node Tool, Make sure all the nodes, because you can select them all. Every single node is selected. And then you can go here. You can just say break curve. So click break curve. And you can see now they've all gone white. They've all, and also if you look in the layers, now we've got lots and lots and lots of curves or paths. And each one of those, I can just go on to it. Just say, oh, you know what? Let's just, and that's got a width profile. So click there. You can see the pressure. I can modify the pressure setting there and tweak it. And I can go on to that one and select that one and move that one and so on. So you can create all kinds of, now obviously if I had like 400 paths, maybe sort of showing an image or something. Now that would be another thing, of course, that I would love to see in designer would be an image trace feature where it sort of creates uh, lines like this of any design or image or photo. That would be really, really good. And you can see then, of course, what we do afterwards, you could actually just break it all apart. Now, of course, even better would be a transform feature where you could actually transform each of these, maybe randomly. <laughs> I expect a lot from an application. And so you can see, you can create all kinds of quite rough sort of vector-like designs. And of course, once you've got that design, you can gain select them all, you can go over here, and you can turn around and say, well, actually, I don't want it like that. I can manipulate these, I can change things, I can maybe change the width profile for the whole lot and tweak it and you can create a whole variety of different designs just by using that. Well, hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.